Today I have something to share with you. I have a friend. And uh, I'm sure we all have good friends. Some of them leave a mark. Some of them actually mean much more than others. But we have friends upon different levels, depending on what exactly uh, the relationship is and how it has unfolded, why it is there. Uh, usually, normally, those who are with you from childhood are the ones who would probably be with you for a longer period of time. Uh, not necessarily. Sometimes we make the best of friends later on in life. Uh, sometimes we're let down by our friends. Now, I want to share with you something very interesting. When you have a friend, you do not become so close to them that you share with them information that no one is supposed to be knowing besides you. Because one day when you break up, they will really have too much of information about you. Uh, they will basically hold you at ransom. You need to know this. So therefore, it is a narration of the Prophet Sallallahu Some of the scholars say uh, it may have stopped at the Sahaba, at the Sahabi. Uh, some take it right to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi But however, it is brilliant advice. Uh, stating that when you love someone, love them in moderation, which means you need to know the limits. You know, one day you may not be friends again. Uh, one day they may be your enemy. And the same applies when you dislike someone. You make sure that you dislike them in moderation. Don't do things that will create such a big embarrassment that the day you become friends, which is very possible for the Almighty, uh, you will be embarrassed about what you did to them or you will have hurt them a little bit much. So that's my piece of advice for today. And inshallah, I will be sharing more advice later on today. Let's speak about this a little bit. So I have a friend, mashallah, very close. We've, they've helped me, maybe, uh, this is just an example. They've helped me financially. Uh, they might have helped me get a place in school. They might have helped me during my school days, in my business, with my family. They might have helped me in so many different ways. Uh, does it mean that I must lower my guard, tell them every detail about my life, where I've sinned, how I've sinned? Remember, my brothers and sisters, when you share your sins with others, it's actually another sin. When you share your sins with others, it becomes another sin. The reason is, uh, Allah says, those who like to share the stories and tales of immorality with others, they will be served a severe punishment because you drop the level of morality. Imagine everyone goes and describe how they committed a sin. If you're teaching someone a lesson and you're saying, you know, we're, we're all sinful people, we've all done things that we're not happy about, we're not proud of, you know, we've changed. Recently, I watched a clip on Brother Mike Tyson. I'm sure you guys would know who Brother Mike Tyson is. And there was an interview where someone who was asking him the questions, the interviewer, was actually asking him about something way back. And he said, hey, listen, that was when I was 19, 20. I don't know what your aim is in asking me these questions, where you want this interview to go. But that now I'm 43, and this was like 10 years ago. He says, now I'm 43, and I really, really don't want to be the, you know, the person I was. It's, it's past. It's long. We've all changed. You've changed. I've changed. And wallahi, that's a fact. When we're young, sometimes we do things. Uh, as you grow older, you mature, you become a better person, you become more tolerant, you become, you have your own children, you become a patient person. And may Allah bless those who don't have children with children. I mean, uh, so basically what would happen is we would all change. We all have changed over time. It's not good enough for someone to keep harping about your past, about something you might have uh, done when you were uh, 15, 18, 19, 25 you know, 28, and go all the way back. When your life has changed, you've contributed to humanity. Everything has changed. You've contributed in a positive way to society, to your family. You've become a beautiful person. The people around you actually love you as you are today, not as you were before. Don't let your past bog you down. But we should never bog people down based on their past. What that means is don't hold a person's past way back against them. If it is fresh and they have not changed their ways and habits, by all means, you may want to say this was the case since you were young, you have not changed. But if you see a change, if you witness a person having changed, having really developed themselves, you need to learn from what brother Mike Tyson said the other day. Oh, sorry, it was an interview that I watched the other day, but the statement was 10 years back. Words of wisdom, honestly. And I've seen when we were young, he was the hero. Uh, well, not to say uh, he's much older than I am, but at the same time, uh, he, he was, we, we, I, I've seen some of his fights, he was a champion, a person I've never ever seen to this day. I've never ever seen uh, boxers who would actually draw, catch my attention so fiery and so, you know, fired up. 
uh, and, and the attack was so unique when it comes to Mike Tyson. He's the guy who's saying, hey, that was me a long time back. Stop asking me about and bringing up things that were a long time back. Now let's go back to what we were saying. So if, for example, you have something that you had done in the past that was not good and you shared it with your friends one day when you're no longer a friend of that person and that can happen it has happened to almost all of us where you've got a bosom buddy a person who's very close to you Allah takes them away to show you that the one who you're supposed to be the closest to is the Almighty he alone will not let you down the rest of the people can let you down so when you get too close to people sometimes the Almighty you know puts a crack there to say hey you, you, you got to know where your allegiance lies. You know, each one is for himself in the hereafter. But here, as much as we've given you friendship, you got to know your limits. So if you shared all your sins and everything and every detail of your business and how you operate your business and what you deal in, who your suppliers are, where you work and how you got the job and how much your salary is and every detail of what your wife does and what your husband does and what your family members do and so on, that will be detrimental for your future, your, your well-being the day that you break up with that person. I promise you it is a powerful piece of advice. My brothers and sisters, uh, this is something we all need to learn from. And because human beings are such that, you know, your heart opens up to someone, you feel so close to them. I've learned something very dangerous these days. Uh, you have people who are recording uh, private discussions and they sometimes they mean well, sometimes they don't mean well. But when I see a person with a phone in their pocket and, you know, the, the, the little camera is actually uh, this way, you know, is facing the people. I always say, I hope you're not recording, you know, because if it's a private discussion, I mean, if, if I'm busy eating, imagine uh, with these braces, it's not quite simple to eat. You know, you look like you're struggling to chew and you wouldn't like that image to actually come out in the public and everyone sees that, oh, you've been eating uh, and you, you look so greedy and so on. And, you know, hey, 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 let's learn to be people who are sincere and genuine. And we need to also have friends who will actually respect us. Uh, so it's beautiful where uh, we have limitations, limits. When you tell someone, tell them a limited amount. When you, when you share your happiness, make sure that you share it in a way that you do not give too much of information. You will lose your job. I promise you, your, your business partners will actually be stolen or something might happen. They might get to someone. People are not all sincere. Sometimes your best friends become your enemies. Like I said, it's happened to almost all of us. If not every one of us, maybe not your best friend, but a lot of people who were close to us as time passes, there is a gap that, that happens. Uh, sometimes it's legitimately because we're busy, because we're far away, we still love each other. You know, sometimes distance actually makes the heart grow fonder indeed. But I'm talking of a different type of a distance. The distance where uh, you, you now no longer care for each other. You now no longer, uh, you know, get along with each other, like each other, no more, because of some misunderstandings that have happened. And sometimes it's uh, uh, irreconcilable. It happens with people who are married. Imagine married. You marry someone you absolutely love. You ended up loving them, etc. And one day something happens. And what do you know? The next thing is divorced. Divorce is permissible. It's one if it's the worst thing that could happen, but it's permissible. So now what you need to know is when you've given too much of information and when you've been too close where every movement of yours is known. Trust me, you've just shot yourself in the foot. That's what you've done. That's what you've done. Now, this is a powerful piece of advice. The opposite of it is also correct. The opposite of it is also correct. What is it? When you dislike someone, be careful. I see a lot of people swearing sometimes. You know, they could be belonging to a different sect. They could be, uh, and we, I belong to Islam. I'm a Muslim, but I'm a human being as well. So I belong to humanity and I belong to Islam. So I care for my Muslim brothers and sisters and I care for humanity and human beings as well. So much so that I'm a creature of the Almighty and I care for the, for the creatures that that Almighty who made me has created because that's my link with him. I respect everything he's done and I respect everyone he has made and everything that he has made. That's who I am. But now you find some people who don't understand. So they decide because I, I think this way, because I belong to this particular uh, religion, this particular sect, etc., etc., then I've got to say these hurt full nasty words uh, and you know I've got to be derogatory as soon as I see someone with a beard for example uh, I've got to start calling him a terrorist as soon as I see someone with a niqab or a hijab I've got to call them a derogatory term uh, excuse them you know why because 
like I've said before, they hate you and their hatred has no limits to it. So it will go beyond the limit. It does happen with some Muslims as well, where hatred goes beyond the limit. I've seen it even with people of different sects, for example, people who disagree with you on one matter. You know, recently there was something that happened. People asked me a question. I'll give you an example. The ruling of cryptocurrency. What is it? Now, to be honest with you, there are two opinions. One says it's okay. One says it's not okay. In a nutshell, you do not hate on each other. I heard someone say, oh, if this guy says it's okay, then that's the end of my relationship with him. What a fool. Subhanallah. What a fool. How small minded is that? Because actually what has happened in that particular case would be whatever the millions of points of benefit you could have benefited from a man, you've just discounted them completely because of one difference that you've had. And, and the man didn't even say that. And on top of that, even if he did, what if he's right and you're wrong? So my brothers and sisters, this is something amazing. Thank you.